Listen up, it's the secret sauce. You know, we have a section we like to call secret sauce. And secret sauce is, you know, as a laundry, a laundry owner, as a laundry business owner, do you have any tips of things that are working in your business, uh, particularly with the commercial, the B2B, you know, pickup delivery service, anything that is working really well for you that you think would work well for other owners around the world? Oh, yeah, definitely, man. So the simplest way would be you have to understand the nuts and bolts of your business, right? It may seem easy at first that, you know, like what I told you earlier that oh, it's an easy business to set up, you know, the, the laundry shop, right? But if you start to deconstruct it one by one from operations, from the deliveries, from the machine in the machines, there you will see how difficult it is to connect each other. Right. But if you fully understand that, you will have a bigger picture on how to properly operate your business. So for example, back then I, I researched how to handle different kinds of stains, blood stains, food stains, oil stains, everything. How can I remove this completely and more efficiently? Right. Those types of research is going to help you um, in the future. Right. <laughs> And I, I was also able to share that to to my attendants. So I have people assigned doing the, the spot cleaning, right? Because of this knowledge, they are now more aware on what to do and much more efficient and faster, right? And another thing is that in my experience, I raised... I raised the bar in terms of learning how to maintain my machines. Well... My smaller machines, right? Uh, the Speed Queens. Mm -hmm. I fell in love with the Speed Queens, right? Um, up until now, even my first pair of machines, I am still still using those machines. Right? Uh, what happened was, of course, you have to maintain your machine and I have to pay for a technician back then. And the tech was really ripping me off. Like, cost me around like a couple of hundred dollars, but the problem was not fixed. So I got really frustrated. So what I did was I tried to learn learn it on my own. Uh, observe what the techs are doing, how, how they dismantle the, the machines. And I even watched YouTube videos. So in a year's time, I was able to master how to repair it. Well, except for the wirings, I'm not an electrician. So, But the parts, I do understand you know, how the, the series of the parts are connected to each other. So it, it helped me probably save on, on the maintenance cost. And even the parts, I purchased the parts directly from the suppliers in, in the States, right? Instead of buying it here from the distributor. Mm -hmm. So that also saved my cost. I guess that's also part of the nuts and bolts. Maybe you can also do that for... Um, <laughs> controlling your expenses if you want to focus let's say if you want to if you're trying to save up for another machine then try to cut some costs on some aspects of your business uh, what else uh, I guess in a nutshell you really have to be resourceful wherever you are if you're in the states or in here in, in the Philippines you have to think about ways on how to you know work yourself Work your way around these challenges. Challenges may be small, but if you're able to master it, those challenges may won't be even challenges at all. Right? There you go. That's that's my secret sauce for you. Uh, that I mean, that's just so profound. It's such great secret sauce. It's just such great advice um, in general to understand and know the nuts and bolts of your business, uh, because if you don't, you're not going to run an efficient business. And, uh, under, I mean, you talked about understanding how all the parts of a machine kind of go together and because of that, you can do most of the repairs. Well, the same is true about your business as a whole, right? Understanding how the different parts of your business connect up together. And so when there's a problem, you can diagnose it and figure yep. out where the problem is just like mm -hmm. in a machine. I think that's insanely good advice. And I don't think that we've gotten that advice yet. So that is, you know, really, really solid secret sauce. Thank you for 
Yeah, sure. I'm, I'm sure some some of the folks are doing that in the states also because it's you know I think for me it's very simple that you really have to learn it, especially if you're really into your business, you really have to do it, right? Unless unless your laundry laundry business is not your main um, business, so I guess you you really have to get a service person on that. I right. used to buy broken machines and and I play I play with it. I I try to revive it and I come up with a couple of successes already. Nice. Yeah. I mean, definitely a theme running through your entire story is resourcefulness. I mean, you said, oh yeah, you know, Filipinos are resourceful. Well, you are the epitome of resourceful all throughout your whole journey so far, and I'm sure you will be continuing on to. Uh, so that, I mean, that's, that's a whole nother secret sauce that, you know, people should yeah. be implementing in their business. 